What's up, witches? Here we are at my divination altar because I'd like to show you how I make divination oil. This is simply an oil designed to help you metaphysically empower your psychic abilities and connect you to the spiritual realms. I use this divination oil in a number of ways. I'll often apply this to my third eye or onto my tools. Sometimes I'll anoint a candle with this oil, then light it while I'm practicing. The current focus of my practice is hedge riding and divination. I also read tarot professionally off my Instagram. So you can imagine I go through a lot of this stuff and I'm super excited to share it with all of you because it's one of my favorites. Okay, so let's talk about the ingredients that go into my version of divination oil. First up is rose petals and rose essential oil. Everybody knows rose for its ability to enhance romance and inspire love, but rose actually has an association with divination surrounding love too. The flower itself can actually be used as a form of divination. You might be familiar with young children plucking the petals off flowers, interchanging between they love me, they love me not. Next on our ingredient list is amethyst. This is a highly spiritual stone to me. It charges the third eye and crown chakra, which connects us to those divine frequencies and spiritual realms. Amethyst helps keep us calm and aids in meditation as well as trance work. Moving on, we have mugwort, which may be one of the most important ingredients in this whole recipe. Mugwort oil alone would be a perfectly fine divination oil. It brings prophetic dreams, enhances visions, it heightens our psychic awareness, and it's also highly protective against evil spirits. Next up is mint, which attracts good spirits. I feel as though mint helps me get in touch with my spirit guides or even the spirit guides of my tarot clients. Mint is also a purification herb, so adding that will end up being protective as well. Now let's talk about rowan berries. Rowan is a prominent tree in Celtic traditions, so yes, this stems from my spiritual beliefs as a Celtic pagan. Rowan has two main aspects that are important for this divination oil. It's highly protective, and it connects us to the spiritual realms. Rowan is considered to be very powerful, and I have to agree. This ingredient is admittedly a little bit extra, but if you can get some, I highly recommend it. Our next ingredient is moon oil. To make moon oil, just charge any oil in the full moon's light. This will give it the essence of the moon's power. I use grapeseed oil because it doesn't have a strong smell, which I find preferable because I really want the smell of my essential oils and the herbs that I use to come through in my magical oils. Our last herb is a single bay leaf, which is classically used in all manners of divination work. It's burned for clairvoyance and put in dream pillows to bring prophecies. Another important aspect of bay is that it's highly protective because of its ability to ward off evil spirits. Lastly, I just have a quartz piece here just to further amplify everything going on in this spell. To prepare my divination oil, I'm just going to combine everything into this cute little bottle. I think I got it at the dollar store for super cheap. As you add ingredients, concentrate on their purpose in the spell, and maybe give each a small blessing as you add them. I'm rushing along because this is a YouTube video, but you should take your time and do some intention setting as you add the ingredients. I'm also doing three pinches of each herb because three is the number of completion. It also represents land, sea, and sky, which are the three realms in Celtic spirituality. To finish off my divination oil, I'm going to set it out to charge in the full moon's light. This is going to enhance the power of my herbs, but also enhance the power of my newly set intention. This sort of marries the ingredients and my intentions a little bit further. Now you have a potent divination oil that also serves as spiritual protection. You can use this oil to ward an area like your circle or your home. You can also use this to protect yourself during spiritual journeys, or you could even use this as protection if you find yourself someplace haunted by evil spirits. Let me know what you think of my divination oil in the comments. If you try out this recipe, I'd love to know your results. I'd also love to know how you use divination oil in your practice. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, I'd love if you would consider subscribing for more awesome witchcraft content. And as always, until next time, happy casting!